Yeah, no, you're exactly right. I haven't always worn these green glasses, but I, I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to get excited about it because I think it's going to help a lot of people out there because I do truly believe that we're essentially all live in the same movie. We're just different actors and actresses within that movie. And so I hope this motivates a lot of people out there. And so my story, when you look at it, was that Eric Qualman, first initial, last name, it always is equal man when you give an email address out. So I was equal man. And so again, I'm telling you the story because I hope you don't do what I did, that I resisted my story for 15 years. And now that we've done a bunch of research around some of the most successful people in the world, one commonality that they all share is that they've stepped into their story. And when they did it, they stepped into discomfort. Because it's really uncomfortable to step into your story at first, but it's the most comfortable place that you can live. And again, I learned this. I resisted it for 15 years. So don't do this. Anyone young out there, it doesn't matter when I say young, it's like young at heart. Whether you're 18 or 80, I want you to step in your story today or step deeper into your story. And so what happened for me is again, you're Eric Qualman. So first initial, last name, equal man, always your email address. I've been in the digital space 27 years. So I've always been equal man and I actually hated it. Like you go into a meeting like, hey, we need some coffee. Well, Equal Man's probably super fast because he's a superhero. Oh, we need to work a little harder on the numbers this weekend. Well, maybe Equal Man can do it. So you can imagine the bullying that was there. But then finally, I realized this was not happening to me. It was happening for me. And it took me 15 years and a moment in time that all of a sudden it clicked and said, oh, I got to step into this. And so the way that happened was I was doing an, an interview somewhat like this, but for a magazine. And then they wanted to take a photo for the cover. And so they said, hey, do you mind wearing some Clark Kent like glasses? Because you have this name like Equal Man. Do you mind wearing some Clark Kent Superman glasses? I go, no, we can do that. And they go, well, do you mind if they're green? And they bring them out. I'm like, whoa, those things are pretty bright. But I put them on and we take the photo and I don't think much of it. That I fly to Kenya to give a talk and the night before I'm going to give this talk you know I'm in a car ride over and this nice lady that I'm with kind of looks at me and she goes uh, well we're going to adopt a baby cheetah so I was going to adopt a baby cheetah from a rescue shelter uh, not to take home my wife would kill me but just to support the local area yep yeah a cheetah and the lady she asked me hey you know we had the Olympian Usain Bolt here a couple days ago and filmed him and he said he adopted from the same litter that you're going to adopt from. Do you mind if we film you and marry that footage together and raise some money for the shelter? I said, yeah, that, that sounds great. Let's do that. And then she pauses and looks at me and says, but uh, when we're filming you, we obviously want to make sure that you're wearing your green glasses. And I kind of look back at her and go, oh, I don't wear those green glasses all the time. I look like an a fool walking around wearing green, green glasses all the time. And then she said, no, no, that's what everyone in Kenya looks like. Everyone thinks you look like. And so, you know, I never wanted that moment to happen again, to see that look. I never wanted to disappoint someone ever again. And I said, heck, you know what? If I can empower one more person because I wear these green glasses, then I finally realized this is happening for me. For the longest time, I'm like, I can't believe I'm equal, man. And now I'm like, I can't believe I'm equal, man. And I finally stepped into my story. So. Again, long answer, sorry for the length, but the reason I got so passionate about that is because I think everyone out there that's listening, all of you out there, it's like step into your story. Do it today. It's going to be uncomfortable. Trust me, I know it's even uncomfortable for me today, but the moment you do that, the longer you stay in your story, it's the most comfortable place that you can be.